I guess we could get started. I thought we would talk about Thanksgiving dishes today. I kind of gave you guys that idea last time. Um, so, of course, Thanksgiving is like one of the biggest food holidays that we have. Um, there's other things to celebrate as well, but food is a big part of it. And so one of the things I want everybody to remember going into Thanksgiving is don't forget to, of course, gratitude, give thanks, but enjoy your family. Enjoy the time that you're spending with family. If you're spending it alone, um, find, find something to be grateful about. Um, there's a lot of things going on on Thanksgiving. You've got food prep, you've got food, lots of food, you've got people, you've got family. Um, sometimes there's conflict. There's a lot of napping <laughs> going on. Um, a lot of good things that are happening that day. And so just kind of remember what the holiday is about um, for you and, you know, personally. And don't forget to enjoy those moments. Um, we're not going to feel guilty about what we're eating that day. If you're tracking food, it's okay to take a break that day from tracking your food. Um, it's okay to indulge in some really good dishes and treats because Thanksgiving happens once a year. Um, it's not going to carry on. It's not going to ruin your progress. It's, um, it's one day. And so I thought today would be a really good day to talk about some of our favorite dishes. We're just going to go around <laughs> so everybody's going to speak. Um, think about what your favorite dish is to eat. Um, if you're going to a family gathering, what is your favorite dish to bring? And what is your favorite dish to cook? Because, or something that you're really proud of when you make. Because I think all of those could be different. Um, sometimes our favorite dish to eat is something somebody else makes. Um, maybe if we're going to a gathering, we want to bring the easiest thing to bring. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> um, and maybe some, you know, if you're hosting or something, there's something that you're really proud of making. And, and maybe how do, you, how do you prepare that? How do you do that? Um, I'll go first. Um, my favorite dish on Thanksgiving to eat is the stuffing. Um, here in my family, we don't make gravy. Well, we make gravy for the kids, but we make red chili, uh, red chili sauce. And my mom makes it and it's delicious. And my favorite dish is to eat the stuffing with the red chili on, on top of it. Um, I will eat that for leftovers. It's just so good. I don't make stuffing. <laughs> If I bring stuffing, it's out of a box. Um, so I like when my sister makes it because she, she gets a little bit fancy. Um, my favorite dessert is apple pie with ice cream. I love pumpkin, but by Thanksgiving, I'm usually a little bit tired of the pumpkin. So I really like apple pie. My mom makes a really good one. Um, if I'm going to go to a family gathering, I like to bring the green bean casserole because it's super easy. And I'm used to eating, you know, the, the easy green bean casserole where you empty the can of green beans and the cream of mushroom and you put the crispy onions. I don't get too fancy. Um, it's quick and everybody likes it. It's not the best. It's not my favorite dish, but it's the one I have. I will always offer to bring. Um, and if I do make something, I really like to cook the turkey. I'm not doing it this year. I will only do it if I'm hosting, but I really like to cook uh, roasted turkey in the oven. That's something that I'm pretty proud of whenever, whenever it comes out <laughs> right, <laughs> which is hard sometimes. But those are my, those are my dishes. Who wants to go next? Robin's unmuted. Oh, you want to go, you want to do it? <laughs> go do it? Okay. Tell you. Yeah. Um, okay. So my favorite thing to bring is something that my mom 
my mom's not longer is no longer with us. So she, her favorite thing that she would always bring, she kind of passed on to me. And so my kids ask for it every year and it's like a cranberry apple salad. So it's, you know, you put, they, I'm sure everybody has a version of this, but you know, you put the, you put some a strawberry jello and some cranberry sauce some pineapples and marshmallows, you know, the type with, and you put some apples in there and I have a special, um, like a uh, a bowl that it goes in so it it's, makes the imprint of the of the thing on the top I can't remember what it is but my kids love that and for me that's that's always something that I bring and something that my kids like us like me to make so that's like the traditional thing for me um so I bring that my favorite thing to have is something I don't make which is really good stuffing now you know my mother-in-law we go over there is a is a box stuffing person so it's not my favorite but when we make you know the homemade dressing is my favorite and i think my favorite dessert i would say is pumpkin cheesecake because i'm still not sick of pumpkin yet <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin <I'm> cheesecake like, <laughs> i like that you have a traditional dish that your mom passed down to you is yeah. the bowl that you use traditional to like, is it her bowl? It's like, it's like, um, it's like a white kind of like when you think of a bundt cake, but it's like an old Tupperware thing that has the ridges in it. And then it like has like a, a picture of some type that you press on the top. So it has oh. a little shape. So it's hers. It's hers also. So I'm like, I'm never going to lose that. And then I have her recipe like in her writing. And that's like a, you know, that's like the, yeah, that's I don't know. That's just the special thing, and my kids just yeah. like can't have Thanksgiving without that. That's it, super. Special. It's like a it's like a Jello mold. My mom it, used to have one. Yes, it's and it's been around for a million years, and it's still going. Mm. It'll probably last another million years, but yeah, <laughs> that's cool. It, it, but it's but it's great, and and it, I just that's the only time I make it is Thanksgiving, and Who's that's next? it. Raquel. So I like, yeah, I like, um, I like the, so we do Thanksgiving a little different. We, um, we cook our turkeys in the ground. And so we get together the night before, um, we go out to my mom's and we have a pit in the ground that we just throw wood. We have to burn it for, I don't know how many hours before we lower our turkeys in. And so while we're there, um, we have menudo or pozole and we have, um, carnitas and we have it every year. Like that is, that's what we do. And we're all standing outside in the cold by this hole in the ground with fire, <laughs> um, just waiting to lower our turkeys in. And so, um, my mom doesn't let us take anything. Um, so I, last year, I snuck um, some veggies. <laughs> you took the veggie I tray? <laughs> I took the veggie tray. Good. Um, I just, I didn't even go into the house. I went straight to the yard and put it just outside just for, you know, whatever. Um, they were really good prep veggies for the rest of the week. So it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody touched them. <laughs> That's cool. Um, and then um, me and my son will make a cheesecake. It's a no-bake cheesecake. And it's his favorite. Um, and it's really good. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and we'll, you know, with the leftover of the cheesecake, we'll just use it as a dip and dip our fruit in it and stuff. And so... Um, but I'm a box stuffing person. I love the box stuffing. <laughs> I do too. I can, <laughs> I can eat it. <laughs> I'm all savory and herbs. I got me a box. I was down and looking in the back shelf because that's, I just like it. Yeah. Um, and I love, I love pumpkin everything. This year I did not, I have saved the pumpkin. I have not been, I really want a pumpkin roll. And so one of Rick's co-workers makes one and so I will have that um after we get the turkey out of the ground with my coffee and I'm very much looking forward to that and then we make Rick will make a 
pot pie, a turkey pot pie with the leftovers from mm -hmm. on the Friday after. Yum. So, so how long does the turkey take to cook in the ground? Is it all night? Um, it's all night. We put it in. It, we probably start lowering them about ten, between ten and eleven o'clock, and then we get up and we're at my mom's probably between six and seven. Because so we lower them all in, and then we've got to cover it up with dirt. We water spray it so that way it like seals it in. And then in the morning we've got to dig it out, and then raise the turkeys out. And some of them don't make it. Some of them explode. <laughs> How many do you put in there? Um, we well we do turkeys and briskets. I think my brother's putting in a pork butt that has to go like at the very, very top. So I think last year we had maybe 14. 14 turkeys? 14 turkey. For, well, between turkeys and brisket. Oh, wow. Because some of them don't so, make it. <laughs> some of them don't make it. Yeah, because if you don't poke the hole in the right spot, because you use oven bags. And so you have to poke a hole um, so that way the steam comes out. And if you don't poke a hole in the right spot, or if you forget to poke a hole at all, it'll just, it'll, it'll have a blowout. Like it'll literally blow through the foil, <laughs> through the pan. That's you crazy. Have a really dry turkey. Wow. I've never heard of that before. How many people, people do you guys feed? How many families? Um... I honestly don't know. Every year it's different. Since mm. COVID, it's, it's changed a lot. It's, our crowd has gotten really small. So. Is it good? Like, is it tender? Or, oh, the way my goodness. Yes, it falls off the bone. It is, I mean, it is, it's so good. It'd be worth and I don't it. Care, I don't care for turkey. I'm not a big turkey. But I, don't, I don't order turkey sandwiches ever. Like, it's... <laughs> my last choice <laughs> who else who else has some traditions and favorites julie i make um i make a fruit salad and uh i've made it since the kids were little and so i can't go a year without making it and basically it's any kind of fruit it used to have bananas in it but the bananas turned brown and the kids wouldn't eat leftovers so the bananas have come out, but I've used blueberries and raspberries and strawberries and grapes and apples and oranges and whatever kind of fruit you like. And then I always add um, Cool Whip and mini marshmallows to it. And so that's our tradition. Um, and if I don't make it, my kids will yell at me. <laughs> um, and of course, fruit is usually not on sale the week of Thanksgiving because, you know, berries <laughs> yeah. go bad fast. So you have to get them right then. So it's an, ex it can be kind of expensive. Um, and I'm, we usually host, so we do all the cooking. So I don't have a dish that I would take anywhere, but I guess if I had to, I'd probably take fruit salad. Yeah. Because it's so easy. Yeah. Um, I have a work potluck and I have to figure out what to take. Oh, I also make the deviled eggs because we've come to find out that everybody likes my deviled eggs over my mother-in-law's. Sorry, my mother-in-law. Um, <laughs> so I make the deviled eggs too. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to have lots of vegetables this year because our daughter is bringing um, salad and Brussels sprouts with bacon or maybe that's, no, maybe it's green beans and bacon and then Brussels sprouts. I don't know how she's cooking those, but she's bringing those. So, um, but I'm, I always, I'm, the, we always cook. Yeah. Someday one of the kids might cook, but it's not <laughs> this year or next year, probably. But Christmas is where the other tradition comes in. Cause I only make cinnamon rolls for Christmas morning. So, yeah, I can't wait to hear about those. You're going to have yeah. to show us your cinnamon rolls on Christmas. I will. Christmas morning, we do cinnamon rolls and eggnog. Are they big? I've been doing that. Been, yeah, I make big ones. So I love cinnamon rolls. Yeah, they're good. So 
And I do like box stuffing and that's what I make. So (laughs) I'm always kind of embarrassed to say it because people get real fancy. My sister uses bread and she cuts it and all this stuff. And I'm like, (laughs) yeah, I like the box stuffing and I just, it, I I can make it at the end really fast and, and I don't stuff our turkey because you know, it's 18 pounds. If you haven't got your turkey out, you need to do that in the next couple of days, especially if it's 18 pounds like ours is. So ours is coming out Friday. So anyway, that's me. Who's next? Julie. <laughs> I'm going in order. Okay. You guys are all in order. Julie, Julie. <laughs> it's Julie P. <laughs> yeah. Well, we just started a different tradition in on my side of the family, and it's called Thanksmas. So we combine Thanksgiving and Christmas together for everybody. So um, it used to be I always had Thanksgiving um, at my house, but when I moved out of the area, um, they kind of went all their own. Um, Terry hosted Terry used to host a lot. And then when mm-hmm. I got a house in the area, um, that was, that was one of the stipulations of me getting a house in the area was it had to be big enough to host events because she hosted like everything. Oh. And, um, so when I got my house, then, um, we would split it up. You know, I would do Thanksgiving, she would do Christmas or she would do Thanksgiving. I would do Christmas, Easter, all the other holidays. So, since I moved out of the area, though, I mean, I was four and a half hours away, so there's no way <laughs> I could host yeah. it, but no one would come. <laughs> <laughs> but um, since I've, I'm kind of back in the area, I'm an hour half away from them now. But we started doing Thanks Miss, and the first year we did it at a restaurant, um, all the brother-in-laws loved it because they could come and go, and they didn't have to stay the whole day. Because we like to visit. We we visit, we could start at 10 o'clock in the morning and still not be done talking at 10 o'clock at night. So, um, (laughs) then the next year, um, Terry has access to a, um, I don't know. It's, it's like, a. now I can't think of the word. It's like a hall and community um, hall or yeah, it's like like a community hall. Yeah. And, um, So we did it last year. It has a kitchen. It has tables for to serve everything as a buffet. So she brought the turkey. I brought the ham. We're doing that again this year because last year it was just great. And they had they have round tables with chairs and everything. And then they have two other sitting areas. So there was plenty of plenty of space for everybody. I mean, I have Terry and I, we come from a family of 10 kids. So there's a lot of family. Yeah. Not everybody is able to make it because I think three or three or four of them live out of town or out of the country. And so, um, but the majority of us make it and we bring our kids. And, um, so it was really nice last year. We probably had about mm, 20 people, maybe 20, 25. So it was pretty small, Mm -hmm. but, um, you know, my favorite food is the Turkey. I'm not a big pie person. So, my sister Connie was fabulous. She knows about the only pie that I do eat is apple pie. Mm. Um, I like pumpkin just a little, but she decided that she was going to try something new to please me. So <laughs> she lined the bottom of the pie with apple slices and then poured pumpkin pie filling over it. So it was half apple, half pumpkin, and it was <sighs> just enough of each of them that it tasted fabulous. Really? So, yeah, I always ask her to make it for me. I don't know if she's <laughs> going to make it this year, but I'll try and ask. But, you know, we have all the staples. We have the stuffing and the mashed potatoes. Mm-hmm. You know, I usually make my sugar cookies. You'll be I heard about the sugar cookies. <laughs> 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 Terry said they're so, like crack. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to get you my address, Julie. Yeah. <laughs> They pretty much are. They are for Terry and a few of the (laughs) others because it's, you know, the only time I make them is for the holidays and that's what they get. They get my sugar cookies and then I make rock candy. 
So I'll make great rock candy and I'll make cinnamon, orange and lemon and all different flavors of that. And so, you know, I make a special box just for the sibling and then I make a box for their family. So that way the sibling gets their own stash and then their family (laughs) gets part of it too. So that way they don't have to share if they don't want to. (laughs) But my favorite tradition was actually um, when I did have it at my house was using the china that I got from my husband's grandmother. I've got um, all of her good china and um, her dessert plates are a different um, different species of flour. So mm-hmm. I've probably got 15 to 20 of dessert plates and they're all different flowers. So my big thing was having good china and I ha- she gave me a set of her silver and I'd have her silver and I decked the whole the whole table out because for dinner I would only have about 13 people mm-hmm. but between dinner and dessert, you know, er- those that had to go to the other side of the family for dinner, then they'd come later for dessert. And then we'd end up with probably about 30, 35 people for dessert. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what. I love when people use their good dishes and their good silverware. We use paper plates. (laughs) Nobody (laughs) has to do dishes. Well, it's it's the only time that it's the only time that I use them. And Uh um, after a while of me hosting Thanksgiving all the time, uh, we started um, inviting my in-laws over. So I had both sides of the family there. Yeah. So we didn't have to fight over the time constraints on that. So that was always really nice. Yeah. And then they always got a kick out of it. Uh, my father-in-law did cause it was his mother's dishes. So he would be like, Oh, you're using the dishes. <laughs> yes. They're my favorite. That's so. nice. Yeah. What about you, Natika? <laughs> What do you do for Thanksgiving? Go on vacation. If I could, I would. <laughs> I definitely don't like, don't love turkey. But if I'm going to contribute to a family dinner, it'll usually be dessert. Homemade carrot cake, homemade cheesecake, stuff like oh. that. Banana pudding. I'm the dessert person. Yeah. Carrot cake. What's your favorite thing to eat? Stuff like the that. dessert? Uh, my favorite thing to eat would be the mac and cheese and baked beans, and I could leave the rest. Those two fatty <laughs> co- <laughs> work for me. Happy with that? I love carrot cake. I don't eat enough carrot cake. <laughs> and it's funny, my husband loves it too. I don't really like it, but he loves a homemade carrot cake with cream cheese icing. With cream cheese icing. Mm. It must be good because, man, <laughs> there's some people, carrot cake is okay, but you get that one person that makes it good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yummy. I've never had a homemade one that wasn't delicious. So yeah. if you if you can avoid the box, it'll be good every time. I've never made one before. We're going to need all of these recipes. I, I, I know. Recipes, carrot cake. Cinnamon rolls, cranberry and strawberry jello. Okay, so let me, you know, the, my post, my food post that I leave in Facebook. Do y'all have Facebook? Drop your recipe in the comments. That way it's somewhere and we can find them because if, if it's not like a secret recipe. I was going to say my, <laughs> my sugar cookie one. <laughs> I just gave if it out for want, the first time. If you I want. I just gave it out for the first time last year to Terry and my brother Tom. So, uh, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, and I've had it. I had it for well, I had it she gave it to me before she passed away. Uh-huh. Um, so I made the cookies for my husband's side of the family cuz that was her thing. That was grandma's uh-huh. thing was their grandma Peterson sugar cookies and they're just they're just really thin. If you like thin sugar cookie, they're thin and crispy and they melt in your mouth. So mm. I'll put it on there. I'll put it on yeah. there. Sh- share, share the blessings, I guess. I make a <laughs> um, chocolate chip cookie that my brother's trying to get the recipe for. Him. <laughs> and I, I told him when I die, you can have the recipe. 
it's nothing special, <laughs> but I'm not going to give it to him because he wants it so bad. I don't want his wife to get away from me. <laughs> well, and that was the thing is, uh, grandma gave the recipe to me, but didn't give it to my mother-in-law. So yeah. I was just like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I used to make this really good banana bread and I gave it to a neighbor. I never wanted to give it away to anybody. And then I gave her the recipe and she made it and it was horrible. <laughs> And then she was telling everybody it was my banana bread recipe. And I was like, oh my God, but that's not how I make it. <laughs> so I, I learned my lesson with that. And I was like, no, I'm not giving it to you. Yeah. You won't, you'll mess it up. I make um, my husband's sugar cookie recipe, his grandma's recipe. And one year I didn't have an ingredient. So I subbed another ingredient and they turned out even better. Oh, <laughs> And so sometimes, sometimes I'll change the recipe and add that other ingredient, but she has, she also has a molasses cookie recipe. Oh my goodness. Yeah. They are I, so good. I love molasses or gingerbread, stuff like that. Those are my These favorite. molasses cookies I could eat. I'll only make them for Thanksgiving and Christmas because I could just eat a whole pan or more full of them. Yeah. I kind of OD on those. Um, we had them at our work and I like took I kept going by and every time I went by I'd take like two cookies two more (laughs) more. I made myself sick but it was a good way to make myself sick (laughs) yeah when you get the stomach ache you're like okay it's time to stop (laughs) well we don't have a call next week uh because of the holiday so if we don't talk until after you guys have a happy thanksgiving And don't forget to enjoy the day. You're not going to ruin your progress. Enjoy it. Enjoy your meals. You don't have to track your food if you don't want to. And do something for yourself early in the morning. Get up and go for a walk or a hike. (laughs) I want to go for a hike, but I'm going to have to find a place that's open. We're we're having having Thanksgiving at 1 o'clock. So I have to get up pretty early to go for a walk. And I don't think I want to do it at 29 degrees (laughs) or whatever the tent might be that morning. Drink some water then. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Maybe I'll walk on the treadmill instead. How's that? Yeah. That sounds good. It's warmer. Do some, do something. Much warmer. (laughs) Yeah. All right. Happy Thanksgiving, ladies. Same to you. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. 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 Bye.